Hey guys and gals on YouTube, how y'all doing? Quick little video on uh, custom Lego or printed on genuine Lego pieces. I'm gonna start with my personal ones. Hold on, let's send this up just a bit. We have here the Yellow Commander, who is Clone Army Customs, and then we have here a 212th Clone Battalion figure who is a decal favor with AV decals. It was, came off of eBay. I'm not decal them. The last time I used water slide decals was, uh, or when I used them was for like Warhammer miniatures or uh, model trains. I find it curious that his backpack rather resembles the Stormtrooper one, which I just now noticed that. So his, his torso is more like a Stormtrooper's, isn't it? That must be the later clone. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. This is Clone Army Customs. He's got uh, brick arms, DC-15. He's got printing on his arms. Printing on the fronts of his legs. And he's printed on the waist, meaning if I reach up and separate him, oops, pull, pull the guy in half, you can see the printing runs onto the waist piece and the torso. Something we only saw, I believe, once with Lego and the Stormtroopers in that one Imperial inspection set. Also, he's got the yellow on his backpack here. And nice detailed belt, but there is no leg printing on the sides or on the back. This is an older style figure. This is phase one. They do have 360 printing on other figures nowadays. He was used a little bit of wear on his arms and uh, his helmet is a clone only customs helmet. A lot of times these guys are shipped with um, a black stud head. This particular guy has the angry clone face, which I think is just too funny. Anyways, uh, one of the things I really like about Clone Army Customs or printed figures is that although they cost usually a lot, I feel, um, they're permanent. Like this guy was used, he's been carried, I know this for a fact, with like change or maybe keys. He did have some metal marks which wiped off, but Look how clean he is. He's still, he's got a little chipping and stuff, but he's, uh, he's actually got a little bit of looseness in his feet are actually lightly beat up from maybe a child pushing him in the dirt or something. So it's kind of cool. I mean, he holds up probably as good as a Lego figure. Now let's look at the other guy here. He's also printed. He, I mean, he's also on a Lego, official Lego figure. This is a Brick Arms DC-15A, I believe. Anyways. He's kind of shiny. That's because he's been varnished or something to probably seal the decals. Um, I mean, he's pretty nice. His arms are very loose on this side here. And that's because they ground or shaved back in there to make room for the decals so that it does, the arm doesn't drag. For example, here, if you look really close. I don't know if I'll show camera or not. Can you see that? Right there. Light scratching in the circle where the arm hits. Anyways. So, my concern would be decals, even with this heavy coat of varnish, would probably potentially peel or be damaged. But because of decals, look at this. He's got nice printing on his feet, his knees, 360 side, back. Look at the detail. Looks really good. And then while we're looking at this, see a little bit of bubble details. A little bit of bubble details here and there. Also, I think he should have a splash of orange on here. Under his head, he has actually a, uh, a camet head, which I've seen on Clone Army Customs. His other arm is pretty good on the side. has made a little bit of contact. A little bit of damage, if you look closely. You can see a little bit of tearing. And I think that if a kid were playing with this on a hill or in the rough way that children often play, or even adults carry them in their pockets or what have you, just throw them around. Like if you just threw them in a box of drawer or Tupperware with 
tons of Lego bricks and other minifigures, I think it might strip his finish off him. Anyways, I got this one off of eBay. So someone, this is an AV decals on a uh, Lego body, and I just wanted to see what the hubbub was about. And, and I probably, for my purposes, I like, I'm okay with Lego for the most part. Um, Clone Army Customs is pretty nice. Um, I do appreciate their, their stuff. I could do some water side decals. I still do for trains and things, but um, I don't know. I'm just not sure if they'd be as resilient. That's just my two cents. Uh, anyways, this guy, this Clone Army Customs, this particular one, has got about a year now of being photographed in sand and dirt and was actually played with a, with a child for about half a year. So there it is. I like almost pulled his arm off. Ouch. Merely a flesh wound. Anyways, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. Let me know what you think. Um, really appreciate the comments and the subscriptions out there. And we appreciate that positive energy and the vibes out there. Till next time, y'all stay safe. Ciao.